hello friends welcome to my channel so today i'm going to show you how we can do fabulous pagination in sketchware using recycler view if you have a lot of data in your firebase console i want to load a limited amount of data to your phone for smooth running and load more data when the user scroll or click on a more or clicks on load more button just with facebook does to show more content i'm sure you can do this using schedule so what we are going to do is we are going to make use of firebase query we are going to query for a limited amount of data at first i'm going to query for four data but when i scroll it will load more data when i scroll it will load more data when i scroll it will be loading more data it will be loading one one to be loading one one We're going to load one one continuously. We can see it's loading more as we go. So this, so it will load more until until we have reached the last the last data. Until we have reached the last later data. So we're going to do this in sketchway. Okay. First thing we do, we enable our Firebase. We enable Firebase. In our previous video, I've shown how to connect our app to Firebase, how to create an account, how to add our app to Firebase console. So, I added my Recycler View widget and a progress bar. Our Recycler View and a progress bar. So that I, I created a custom view, I call my chart view, it doesn't really matter, you can name us anything. Then with text view, based on the data I have in my Firebase console. So I added my recycle added the custom view to my recycler view one. So this progress bar will load will show anytime we want to load data. And disappear immediately data is loaded. So I added a Firebase components, Firebase database components called chart. Chart. So chart is my component name and the reference is chart. So we are going to use the component name, not the reference. Although mine is chart chart. So then before that, added the stop listening block. So it's not listing for the data on child added won't work if you add this block. So on child added has been cancelled here. I've removed our listing now. Then our I set our number variable, added a number variable n it will be the amount of data we want to create for Firebase. N will be four. So we're creating only four data. Then I created a linear layout manager or custom or custom variable called LLM. So this is my layout manager and I set my recycler view based on my layout manager. Then this is the code we we'll use to query. So chart is our component name, limit to last n. n, like I say, is the number of data we want to query, add event listener data. So in our more block, I created a listener. Created a listener value event listener data. Those are the data we use in our create. So before data we come, I first clear so it will not be repeating our data. I clear our clear I cleared our list map. So passing the data to our map to our map from our map I added the data to our list map so after it has been added to the list map again so now we have populated our list map with new data so after the data has been populated i set our progress bar to be gone and i set our adapter so in our own recycler view st states changed so when the user have scrolled to the last and is not scrolling we are going to query for data so I check if it's at the last, if the circular view, the last item, the last visible item is equals to 
the length of list map minus one so that means if recycler view the current position of the user is is equal to the last item in our recycler view then i'm going to string our n n which will be the number of data we're going to query plus one so anytime the user is in the last place we will we will we reset sorry we set n our number variable to plus one you can set it to any number you want to query at that time any number greater than zero if you want to query more than one two three it depends on the data you want the user to see anytime they scroll to the end then we use this you can also use this this three you can use this three in our own clip listener so if you don't want if it's not a recycler view or even though if it's a list view i want whenever the user click on a simo button so you can put this when the simo button is clicked so that is all thank you for watching this video the, the project will be shared on our telegram channel so you can head over to our telegram channel to download the project